finishing the tour of books on my desk. This is the Lenween collection of Batman stories from the 70s. Let's peek at that. Looks like it's a Marshall Rogers issue. Must be the Clayface story. Yeah. Move that over there. 1776, which I have started and will probably finish at some point. I really liked Gore Vidal's Lincoln book. This one is not something I'm planning on reading on the channel. I know you're very disappointed. The Marvels by... Is it Henry Selznick? What is his first name? Brian Selznick. Really cool books where half of them are illustrations with no text, and the other half is text with no illustrations. I really enjoyed it at the beginning of it, and then kind of petered out toward the middle. This is my journal from 10 years ago that my mom designed the cover for as a Christmas present, probably longer ago than 10 years ago. The greatest Superman stories ever told. Still in its original wrappings. Now I bought this used. I was not old enough to buy comics when that came out. I do want to show you this because I love it. Ah, uh, the first time I ever saw one of these, it did not have a dust jacket. It was just this, the Black Book of Superman. Oh, it was so cool. Superman Past and Future. I'm reading both of these because they have Elliot S. Moggin Superman stories, and since I'm reading you guys an Elliot S. Moggin Superman novel, I thought I'd catch up on more Elliot S. Moggin stuff. Then on my bed, Superman, this is the, from the 30s to the 70s book. It does not have a dust jacket. As I opened it up there, the spine cracked a little bit. I don't think anything in this is by Elliot S. Moggin, but... Don't quote me. It doesn't have a Superman S on the cover. Look at how sad that is. I mean, it's... I really wish I had a dust jacket for that, but I bought it without. Because there's my Batman from the 30s to the 70s. And that looks cool. Oh, well. Marvel 2-in-1. Essentials number one. Another one I'm reading along with the Fantastic Cast. Shout out to Steve Lacey and Andrew Leyland. Um, it's good, but I imagine that this is going to go in the mail to my nephew when he gets a little bit older because it is not memorable. Introducing Kafka. I was reading this several nights ago. It's all drawn by our crew. Fun stuff. This is a book I've known for years and years. Had it when I was younger and actually read it until it fell apart. This is my second copy of this I've owned. From Hell, which I took off the bookshelf that it was sitting on because it was in view of the guest bathroom and I was always worried that my former roommate's mother would see this and freak out. Um, I still have never read this all the way through. People say this is the best thing Alan Moore ever did. Um, I would say the best thing Alan Moore ever did is uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but that's just me. Blank journal. Move that over here. The Doctor Fate miniseries. Someday I'll finish reading that. Really cool Keith Given covers. More Crazy Cat. This was a gift from a good friend of mine. I've been sitting here on this desk all this time. Some Defenders, because I'm going to be on a podcast in August talking about the Defenders Netflix series. Put that over there. Dark Angel Trilogy again, which I may pick up. I know my introductory video of that is still sitting there. It is a hard slog, but we'll see if we can't get through it. Superman versus Shazam. That's another one I pulled just because I've been reading the Superman book out loud to you guys. And I look forward to 
actually reading this, even though some of this is like treasury-sized comics that have been shrunken down. It's another one by Jacques Tardy. You Are There. It's about a guy named Arthur There. There's a better picture of him. There he is, looking very shocked. There he is again. Sorry, this is just a handheld camera. But he lives on top of a wall and observes things. Really enjoyed what I've read of this so far. Wonder Woman by George Perez Omnibus. Very close to being done, and a good thing too, because I've already paid for Volume 2, and I am looking forward to diving into that when it comes out. Now, I've been using the Wonder Woman by George Perez Omnibus to hold down my new phone holder, which I used when I did my last Canterbury Tales video, and if I get through a Superman video tonight, you will get to see it again. Journal, two more journals. So that's it. That's everything that's on my desk. Now I'm going to actually organize it, and I should get out a couple more videos tonight. Thanks for watching.